boys out here gambling. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They treat trying to Bitcoin like it's a dice game. Man, let me. You know what I'm saying? So I get it, right? Like I get everybody trying to get some more money. But that's where you could be going wrong. That's exact. You don't get money by trying to get money. You get money by finding assets and investments Correct. that will appreciate and by them appreciating the pro byproduct will be cash flow this is the literacy kings podcast my name is corey paul rapper creative and entrepreneur hey, boy, still thug, jug, hook or crook. tried to hide it from a new so they put it in the book and i'm jamarcus traham aka j with the nba investor and teacher started at the bottom now we black entrepreneurs what up what up this is the literacy kings podcast man appreciate y'all coming back for another season man we in season six came straight out the mumble mentality straight to six rings like jordan no six my... rings like mj man <laughs> and we busting down a beginner's guide to bitcoin man look i know i know you ain't heard about it <laughs> know your your cousin your uncle your co-workers told you get you some litecoin or some mm -hmm. ethereum doge. some dogecoin oh, elon Musk didn't had you spin your your uh stimulus check on dogecoin you, you spent your whole re up <laughs> on dogecoin on dogecoin <laughs> you know what i'm saying you're trying to get you some bitcoin mm -hmm. They, it's sky high it's at all time highs Come right on, now man. but you don't want to miss the boat yeah. you know what i'm saying Buying at the top of the market That's yeah <laughs> some people telling you it's a bubble it's yeah. a bubble it's it's not real it's money fake money you know charlie munger and warren buffett yeah you know you know i had to send you that link <laughs> <laughs> charlie munger and warren buffett still don't like bitcoin in the annual shareholders meeting <laughs> so what are you to do Literacy Kings to the rescue, baby. This season six, we break it down a beginner's guide to Bitcoin. Jay with the NBA. How you feeling, man? Man, I'm feeling good, man. Um, fresh off all these stimmy, all, all the stimulus money gone. <laughs> so if you still balling right now, you had a bag already. You know what I'm saying? All the stimulus gone. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still eating around here, so we good. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Now. Bitcoin. So I found out about Bitcoin in 27 2017. But Jay actually knew about Bit. Don't make me cry, man. <laughs> Jay knew about tell the people when you find what year you find out about Bitcoin, Jay. Please tell the people why you doing that. I'm gonna pull up the price it was in whatever that time was. 2009, I found out. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to Google nothing. <laughs> 2009. Boy, a Bitcoin was under a dot. Yeah. Hey man, moment of silence. Let's just. Have, it was under a dollar. Let's man. just have a moment. Jay, tell me, tell me. I was. Tell me about I, it. I've been reading financial magazines since forever. Of course. I wonder how Jay know everything. I've been reading financial magazines since forever, bro. Of course. And I heard about it, this mm -hmm. Bitcoin thing, and like, I, and I was like, man, that's cool. But like back then, first of all, I was still hustling. Mm -hmm. And when you hustling, like, you need to see tangible things. Mm -hmm. You in that tangible mentality. Yeah. Put it out, get it right back. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I ain't got time for nothing to be sitting under a dollar. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I heard about it in financial magazines and there, but uh, it was a lot of negativity with it as mm -hmm. well. True, true. You know what I'm because saying? when it first came out, uh, they had this thing called Silk Road. Mm -hmm. uh, that came mm -hmm. uh, not too long after Bitcoin came out. Silk Road mm -hmm. was uh, this online black market, like, yeah. you know, for drugs and guns yeah. and yeah, yeah, underground black, the dark web. Now you got Instagram for that. <laughs> Damn. Boy selling dope on Instagram, yeah. and they they are they on they real selling dope like yeah, it's man. like it's okay. Yeah, they <laughs> snapping <laughs> pictures, doing all that. You mean? Yeah, come on, man, with your geo tags on, man. Yeah, you telling. The fence right where you at with the uh with the gas emoji on there <laughs> Talking about they got it you know what i'm saying me. so yeah um it said that in the article it said uh 
You know, it could be used for criminal activity. The same stuff they said in 2021. Yeah, yeah, that long ago. Yeah, they said it in 2009, man, I kicked myself. Mm. So, <laughs> so years uh, after that, years, years after this, I found out it wasn't until 2017 when it was doing its run. Um, it was doing a run in 2017 where it had went in essence from a thousand dollars to almost twenty thousand uh it was on a hellacious run and got to 22. uh I was watching well, the depending on the exchange 20. right because that's a that's a that's a see that's a nick later on in the season different mm -hmm. exchanges record different prices mm -hmm. based on their uh bid ask spreads on that on that particular exchange mm -hmm. since bitcoin is the wild wild west right. it's like <laughs> trading back in the day online you know what i'm saying yeah. so yeah 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 so the 20-ish range when i saw it when i first said here heard it popping it hit 10 and that's where everybody was it was on cnbc uh -huh. and I, kramer that magazine was, i sent you yeah, yeah. the magazine you yeah. see me was talking about yeah. you know kramer was talking about it all of it you know and i was like what is this so of course i hit jay I yeah said, jay, what is bitcoin and uh and so that's when it hit that 20 and so uh that's when i was introduced to it right so all right now, now we praying it hit 20 again man <laughs> bye right <laughs> bye 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 right okay so let's get into it though all right so the book a beginner's guide to bitcoin it's a bunch of books out there but a beginner's guide to, guide to bitcoin uh it hits on um a few different topics and underneath these topics are subtopics but the top um topics are mm -hmm. is bitcoin actually money um Price targets for Bitcoin. Price targets for Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bitcoin myths. How to buy and store Bitcoin. And then the Literacy Kings is going to infuse culture and hip hop as it relates to Bitcoin. You got to do that. Got to, <laughs> right? So let's take it let's take it from the uh we're gonna take it from the core we're not gonna get into exactly the details but we're gonna kind of just skim right mm -hmm. we're gonna skim a little bit we're going to details as we go forward so the first thing that that you that you really want to know is mm. can i make me some money that's usually what people want to know first when it comes to bitcoin i hear people talking about it but can i really make me some money so that's why the author say is bitcoin actually money, money right mm -hmm. And so the answer to that question, um, it's better to just look at history. You know what I'm saying? It's better to just look at history uh, of Bitcoin. When Bitcoin was first created in 2009, it was worth nothing. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And then you fast forward since its creation, it's been the top performing um, asset um, for its emerging, um, emerging forms of investment, mm -hmm. uh, investing. And so, in 2009, worth nothing. And then today, as we talking, it's worth 50000 and something. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, the question is just going to be, when did you buy Bitcoin? Right. <laughs> right? You know, my story and your story may be to totally different uh, stories. So, when I like that the book does a great job of breaking down um, the history and then the foundation of what is money. Right, season two, uh, literacy money kings. Literacy, literacy kings money circulation. What is money? And then sitting Bitcoin next to that. Mm -hmm. So then once you realize if it's money or if it's valuable, then you can ask yourself, can you make some money? And several people, including the literacy kings, have made money Correct. off of Bitcoin. <laughs> right? A lot of people then lost money. Oh boy, as well <laughs> because it's depending on when you buy and when and if you sell, sell. Mm -hmm. um the answer to that uh will be dependent on another question instead of asking is bitcoin actually money ask yourself can bitcoin be a valuable store uh, uh can it be a um a legit store of value right right because in those cases we have a lot of things that are if you're looking in those lenses we have a lot of things that store value mm -hmm. 
right? Look at real estate. Mm -hmm. Real estate is a store of value. Mm -hmm. Where you're storing, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're taking your, your cash mm -hmm. and you're storing it mm -hmm. in something that will content that is valuable and that can appreciate right. the value. Right. So a lot of things are store of values. So and those things um fit uh one of the main definitions of money. Right. 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 You know what right, I'm saying? Right, so right. that's um, good. Yeah. Just so, you just ask yourself that. So um so the thing about Bitcoin for me, when I first uh, learned about it, one of the things were was that it was this new frontier of money, right? Like it was this this emerging market that we could all get a piece of. Like it was it was new. It wasn't like the dollar, you know what I'm saying? It was new. It was still, you know, the dollar depreciates every year, but Bitcoin appreciates every year. And so, um, at least it has since the history over time. And so that was dope. Here's another thing about Bitcoin that was really dope um, for me. It made sense in the trend of where digital currency is. You know what I'm saying? Like where money started and how things become more and more digital. Mm -hmm. It made sense to me because because Bitcoin is by definition um it is a peer to peer decentralized digital form of currency that's what bitcoin is a peer to peer mm -hmm. decentralized meaning no one heavy person heavy on the decentralized heavy on the decentralized <laughs> no one person controls it a uh, digital form of of currency or cash right so is trying to be the ultimate, you know, free money. Um, so people's money, as Robert Kiyosaki would say. Right, the people's money. Um, Bitcoin is created by people. We'll get into mining later. Mining scares people because you ask yourself, okay, man, Bitcoin is it fair? Like, you, like you say, like you know, whether people say, oh, man, I can't, can I get my money back right now? Where is it? Is it? Is it? You know, in a bank somewhere? Is it virtual? Is it in the air? You, you can't understand it. Who make Bitcoin? Where it come from? All these questions are answered in the book. Mm -hmm. But Bitcoin is made by people mm -hmm. and it's used by people. There's no one controlling entity yeah, of it was Bitcoin. set up to where there wouldn't be right one controlling entity. Right, right, right. Of Bitcoin. Right. So Price targets is another thing, right? How, where where is Bitcoin going? You know what I'm saying? To the moon. To the, to the well, moon. If you watch the Mac, it say to the top if you're not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> where is, can I get me a slice of the pie? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, it's predicted that in our lifetime, uh, God graces, you know what I'm saying? In our lifetime, we'll see Bitcoin at $3 million. Mm -hmm. That's the prediction. Who predicted it? How they predicted it? We're going to get into that in the season. Mm -hmm. they saying one day we will see a $3 million Bitcoin, right? Woof. That sounds crazy, Woof. bro. <laughs> right? But not how crazy? Really. If you start thinking about it, it's not really oh, that crazy. Oh, to me, it does not at yeah, all. It's not really that crazy because it's finite. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so a Bitcoin, right? We're going to get into it, but look, so so the goal is that by this by the end of this season, you will have a, a solid understanding, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. of, of what Bitcoin is and, and, and what it means and the value of it and, and all of that. Um, but talking about the price targets, we're going to get in, get into it's it's uh, it's decimals, right? You can move decimals around. So one, this is the part I like. <laughs> yeah, 100 million uh, sets. Sats, yeah. SATs, they call them Satoshis, 100 million of those equals one, one Bitcoin, Bitcoin mm -hmm. right? So if one Bitcoin, you know what I'm saying, is worth, um, you know, uh, 100 million, right? Then each one of those sats it's would be worth one, right? Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I'm not trying to break down the whole math problem, but the point is, 
it can keep getting bust down. You know what I'm saying? You can bust it down to a set and a half a set and a fraction of a set. So when you can do that, then that mean that the price can go higher and then you just bust down mm -hmm. the amount, you know what I'm saying, that the that the, the sets are being distributed by. Yeah, it's like turning a hundred dollar bill into ten tens. Right. Uh, right. Ten dollar bill into ten one. Exactly. It's the divisibility aspect of it that makes it money. Right. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, so, um, yeah, man. So the price targets are crazy. So you gotta think back when Bitcoin was ten dollars. For me to come and tell you, you know, this this ten dollar asset, you know, it's gonna be worth fifty thousand. It's like that's a big, you know what I mean? Like, that, but it's here. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? It's here. That it is. <laughs> and I be thinking, bro, like. Amazon don't accept Bitcoin. Walmart don't accept Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy got a long way to go. What happened when this started <laughs> happening, bro? You know what I mean? What What happens when you can pay, you know, for anything on Amazon with Bitcoin or something like that? Like, so yeah, we got a long way to go. Uh, the myths. We're gonna get into the myths of Bitcoin. It's for criminals. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Jay was hitting on. <laughs> That's what Jay was hitting Like on. the U.S. dollar is not for criminals. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so let me ask you, Jay, because, uh, okay, so we know we talk about Warren Buffett, uh, arguably the greatest investor of our time, hands down one of the greatest investors. Uh, Warren Buffett and his partner, his partner named Charlie, um, they old school. <laughs> they don't like Bitcoin. Now, they also didn't like Apple back in the day. Or Walmart. Or Walmart. <laughs> they made a f several mistakes. Right. <laughs> and, uh, or Microsoft. Uh, but now they own shares in Apple. Um, but they just had their annual shareholder meeting. Correct. To explain to the people what a shareholder meeting is. So a shareholder's meeting is um, when you own stock of a company, you become an owner and those owners have rights. A shareholder meeting is when they talk about the future of the company they cover uh they normally have them annually and they cover you know the past year how they did uh, and then they go into where the company is currently right now so it's like a previous year where we are now and what we're going to do in the future mm. but it's a meeting and uh um berkshire hathaway warren buffett's company they still have theirs in person mm -hmm. so it, they're known for having a, a massive retreat style shareholders meeting over several days and uh but if you comment if you can't make it there um now you go robin hood they got links mm -hmm, like i was mm -hmm. on um coca-cola's shareholder meeting the other day right you was telling me about yeah that. Right, so right, right. um that's the beauty of it about being in this age like you'll get a link if you're a shareholder they'll send you a link and uh, you click it, open it, and just listen to like the growth, the future of the company, what they're doing right now, and help you make moves. Dope. Yeah. So you send me a link. Um, so Buffett, so Buffett and Munger, they are in the business of making money for people. Mm -hmm. And so when you have an asset like Bitcoin that is up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's stuck. <laughs> Cardi B up. You know what I'm saying? And you in the business of making money for people, they won't know. Uh what's popping? You know what I'm saying? Like how what y'all thinking about this asset that's making a lot of money, you know? And um, but it was brought up and they still don't like it. Now, Jay, you are your home base is more traditional finance brick and mortar right than mine is home base that's what make us great because we learn from each other we build from each other so i, I want to hear from you um is there any is there any uh um, foundation or uh when buffett and charlie are bashing bitcoin like that is that accurate or are they just in the past yeah uh, do you agree with them like because i know we may have listeners that are more traditional you know what i'm saying and bitcoin scares them too correct so how would you you know what i'm saying bust that down um first of all obviously they don't get to be who they are by being dummies true um 
if you listen to what they say, they have a point. Um, they're big on if a company's viable or not. Like they buy Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett, and Charles Munger. They buy companies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They expand on the company. You know, um, grow it and make it more valuable assets, and they keep it in their portfolio. So they not just looking at numbers. Yeah. Um, they don't look at price either. They're, I learned the difference between price and value from Warren Buffett. Mm, mm. Like uh, the price is how much something's cost. The value is how much something is worth. Mm. So you can have under um, things that are underpriced. They don't sell, mm-hmm. but they're super extremely valuable. That's mm. how you know they they should be worth way more than this. Mm-hmm. Like I was telling you about Walmart. I was like, right. well, it should have been worth more than that. Right. So when you learn the difference between price and value. Um, you'll be thinking more like them. Mm-hmm. Now that holds them back when you look at uh, a Facebook or Amazon, uh, or Amazon, Netflix. Or Netflix. It holds you back because um, those spaces don't have tangible assets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're big on tan- tan- tangible assets um, because they think like like your Gordon Geckos in the world. If you're gonna buy a company, if you're gonna bust it up. Um, like Gordon Gecko broke down the uh, the airline on mm, Wall Street. Mm, I'm, the hangers alone worth this million mm, and this million. So, mm, mm, like they they think like that. Like um, in case I do, you know, how much these assets are worth, or I can't. How can I enhance them? Mm, what are they doing wrong? How can I add gas to it and run it up some more? Mm, but when you have a Facebook, when you have a Netflix, when you have those things that don't have a lot of tangible Google. assets to <laughs> go with it. It's hard to quantify mm-hmm. um, those things, so they kind of shy away from it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's their thought process about Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Like they kind of shy away from it because it's ten. I mean, even Kramer said it's funny money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's because they don't. It's hard for them in their minds and their school of investment to quantify it. That's why I shied away from it. Mm-hmm. 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 But. Um, and you say how I feel I feel that you should still get some anyway Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't I can't afford to be wrong about this one (laughs) you know what I'm saying I can't afford to be wrong yeah and also what makes me feel good about Bitcoin is that it's finite Mm -hmm. and the US dollar is not right Right, that alone right. right there oh okay right I understand so I'm gonna take this dollar that's meaningless and put it in in Bitcoin I got a better chance mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because I'm putting my dollar in, I'm transferring my currency into something that's finite mm-hmm. as opposed to keeping it in dollars and saving it into something that's infinite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. And one thing I heard to, to what you're saying, like one thing that um, uh, one, it's a guy and uh, I forget his name, but he, he has... He runs one of the biggest cryptocurrency vaults, like like cold storage. Like they got their joints in a cave and like in Switzerland and all this old Jeez. crazy. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. next level, right? He was saying he, his advice is invest what you can lose type in Bitcoin. So he like, if you take 100% of your wealth, right, and you put 1% in it, Based on long-term projections of Bitcoin, you'll be all right. Mm-hmm. And if you lost that 1%, you're it's still all 1%. right. It's only 1%. Mm-hmm. So that was his thing. He said, like, everybody should have some skin in the game. Because like you say, he says, hey, I can't afford to be wrong. You know what I mean? He said, to sit on the sidelines makes no sense. He also said, I would not tell you to put your 401k in Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Put all that you own in Bitcoin because it is highly uh volatile mm-hmm. um so i wouldn't uh, basically i wouldn't approach it with a gambler's mentality right 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 See, what right. you're what you're saying is portfolio management right like right. what you're describing that's portfolio management right right you're allocating a certain percent of this right right um one percent of this that's portfolio management Boys out here gambling. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They treat trying to Bitcoin like it's a dice game. Man, let me. You know what I'm so, saying? <laughs> so this is one of the top uh, DMs, texts, calls that me and Jay get. One of the top things that we get is, hey, 
how much I gotta put in to like hit a lick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do get those. Like, no, like get how those. much will it take for me to, like, if I'm trying to make 10, like, how much I need to put in to flip it right, like, you know what I'm saying? Is right not, is, is right not a good time to buy? Should I buy now? You know what I'm saying? Like, because the goal is to, is to get money. And I get it, right? Like, I get everybody trying to get some more money. But that's where you could be going wrong. That's exact. Because be you don't start, you don't get money by trying to get money. You feel what I'm saying? Like you don't, you know, you don't get money by trying to get money. You get money by finding assets and investments Correct. that will appreciate, and by them appreciating, the pro byproduct will be cash flow. You so know what I'm saying? That come with that, right? Yeah. And the thing about Bitcoin that makes Bitcoin unique is you might not ever want to sell it. Uh, I mean, if you long term, because it's like a long term, it might be like a a a a, a, a Warhol, or yeah, a Rembrandt, yeah, uh, like it, like. At what point in time do you sell that? You yeah, know, what I'm you see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah. a Basquiat, like when do you sell that, bro? Yeah, like it's finite. I, I, I want to drive that point home. That point home. It's finite. Yeah, it's only yeah. it's only gonna be 21 million of them ever made ever made and they've already mined over 18 million let's not step on that <laughs> it's only gonna be 21 million ever mm -hmm. made mm -hmm. they've already mined 18, 18 million. million bitcoins <laughs> how much how many dollars is gonna ever be made um however the treasury feels yeah <laughs> now <laughs> speaking of that um they've ran up more since 2019 than they ever have mm. um we're almost pretty soon we're gonna be over a hundred percent of gdp mm. as as in debt like our debt because we started running up debt our debt is gonna be higher than the gdp it's gonna bust be over a hundred percent gross domestic product bust it down with so you. the gross domestic product is the total amount of all the services and all the goods in america okay. right uh -huh. so a hundred put a hundred percent of that is a hundred percent of just money that's circulating mm -hmm. in America, mm -hmm. right? We've ran up so much debt, we printed so much money, so much that our debt is gonna be a hundred and nine percent in the near future. Like it's gonna be past <laughs> what we're even able to produce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. we're on this system, yeah, this funny money system, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just run, we just running it up, running it up, running it up, which lets you know. You should be fleeing from the dollar as soon as possible. Right. To put it, that's why I tell you all the time. What you saving for? Like, I, do I save trash? No, I take it out every Friday. Right, right. It you got to go saying? somewhere. <laughs> it got to go somewhere. So you have to put it somewhere. You have to find stores of value. And the more and more you acquire, you so you're trying to get. They say I'm trying to hit a lick. I'm trying how to much, hit a lick. How I'm much can, to, how so can, I can turn this? Trying 10 to get band. on. I'm trying to turn this Bitcoin into ten bands. My question to you is, okay, I'll give you ten bands. What are you gonna do with it? Mm. See, where are you gonna store that ten? Mm, it's good. See, you can trade up and get it's ten good. all you want to, but you still got ten in funny money. It's good. You just got more trash. That's good. So, what are you gonna do with the ten? Because mm -hmm. the goal is, if you if you got five and you can't turn your five into ten. Whatever asset or investment turned that five into ten is appreciating. So if you leave that five in that you made, now you got ten in an appreciating asset asset and that and that ten is compounding interest. You don't want to cash out. People have a hit a lick mentality because they still think money is valuable. Mm. They still not money, they money is they still Cat, think, they think dollars, dollars are valuable. Which is why they act the way they act. I used to act the same way, so right. I know. You know what I'm saying? I used to take pictures with stacks of money too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't a disconnect. Yeah, we don't call it money. I can't cap on when I see Quavo and all them doing it. I can't cap. I can't. I said, boy, that boy look like me in 08. You know what I'm saying? That boy, you know what I'm saying? So I used to take the pictures too. Uh, yeah. But I acted like that because I did not realize that I'm taking pictures with a bunch of guys. Oh, you wouldn't see me holding a trash bag. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Just a just a, a bag, a, yeah. a stack of bills, stack yeah. of debt. You're going to look like Mr. Clean. You holding a bag, uh, a trash bag up. 
That's what yeah. you're doing. See, they don't realize you acting like Mr. Clean. You holding yeah. a bag of trash up <laughs> yeah. to your ear. And because they don't know that, they're like, I just want to grow these dollars. Right, 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 right. When you should be growing your asset column. Right. And growing your asset column by proxy will produce more dollars. Right. Like you always right. say, the goal is to stay in front of inflation. Stay in front of it. You got to. And so this let's use that to jump to the next one about how to buy right that's going to be one of the how to buy in store right yeah, how you how, get that how, how you, you get that, even that bitcoin get it, thing right how do you even get it um so bitcoin is not them coins you see that's uh that's a logo it's no physical bitcoin a physical bitcoin does not exist right. it's only uh digital it's you know it's, it's, you see some physical that's only a means to maybe move it around but the coin it's not it's just digital so it's several different ways to buy bitcoin and we'll talk about that but just off the muscle you know after this while you while you listening to us or after it's over you can jump on a uh, cash app mm -hmm. that's one that i always talk about um you can jump on cash app Robinhood, PayPal, a lot of other places, but with like Robinhood and PayPal, you can't take your Bitcoin off. Yeah, we're gonna go into that when we. So we'll talk in. about that more. So Cash App is one of the Be spots. Be careful which way you pick. Yeah, Coinbase is another spot. Um, different ones have different fees and all of that. You know, you have uh, professional accounts like Coinbase has a pro account. You can Coinbase True. the app. You type in your app store and now Coinbase. But then also Coinbase has a pro account that has better fees and stuff like that. So we will get into all of that. Then the other thing is storing it. Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to store your Bitcoin because you the can't. Jackers out there. Jackers is <laughs> lurking always. Yeah, Google uh, Bitcoin uh, hack yeah. uh, stories. You yeah. will, you'll see. Yeah, you got Jackers so, lurking. You feel me? So that's another thing we're going to get into. Okay, I got this Bitcoin. What I do with it now? Where do I put it? Uh, me and Jay use something called a ledger. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's look like a USB and it's, it's a whole setup to it and all that. We'll bust that down too if y'all stick with us throughout the season. By the end of the season, you will be good to go. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, and for all the trappers that's out there listening right now, uh, and I hope the fans ain't listening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if you're going to store your, 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 your illicit hypothetically, proceeds, hypothetically, hypothetically, let's say you had some illicit <laughs> proceeds uh, that you're trying to hide. Yeah. Um, the only way that the feds could get it is if you gave them the key. That's if it. You stored it offline. That's it. We're gonna talk about that. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. So that's the cold part about it. Feds could hit you right now. You could have a five million in Bitcoin unless you gave them the the keys, which means it's this 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 code and these password. Can't do nothing with it. They can't do nothing. It can't move. It's the creator of Bitcoin. So the creator of Bitcoin, we don't know who he is, but his his pseudonym is uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. Right. And he got billions of Bitcoin because if you can look at the address, it's the first Bitcoin address ever created. It's billions tied to that address. So they assume that's his and it's never moved. It's just sitting there. So boys don't know if boy might be dead that's what people speculate you know what i'm saying that's what people speculate is that maybe he died and if he never gave the keys you know what i'm saying and the and the pad the law the passwords he's gonna sit there for mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying which is crazy but like we talk about that in the book we're gonna talk about that that buy and sell you know what i'm saying yeah um and then um say man uh culture and hip-hop and why does Bitcoin matter? Now, we the literacy king. So, we, you know, we all about getting a bag and investing that bag, flipping it, not fumbling it. Um, but it's a dope book called Start With Why. I won't go into it. But uh, it's, a, it's a real dope book called Start With Why. And even with our finances, that's what me and Jay do is we start with why. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why are we invested in this company? Um, and the why for me with Bitcoin was because it is digital because it's digital um and it's global 
me and Jay can have something popping. We can have a we can have a profitable investment opportunity here in Houston, Texas. And we can extend that opportunity to uh homies in Mombasa, Kenya or Nairobi, Kenya. And because the same the the price of Bitcoin here is the same price that it is there, mm -hmm. and they got phones and access to, to data, they could invest from a, 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 a impoverished country into an opportunity in a profitable investment in a, a well-off country mm -hmm. and benefit mm -hmm. thousands of miles Game away. Changer. No trend, no, no, uh, uh, fees in the sense of like conversion from the shilling to the dollar and mm -hmm. the regulation from their government to allow them to invest. Like, you can't even get on why you can't even get on Robin Hood in, um, in Mombasa, King. When I was in Mombasa, you can't get on Robin Hood, it's no access to mm. the Robin Hood app. Wow. They, they got they own other things, but all of the like Amazon ain't they like you can't order my partner can't order something on Amazon and get two day prime shipping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that was one of the big things for me with Bitcoin is the opportunity it gave people um, from marginalized places and people of color um, to get in the game because it's global. You feel what I'm saying? And so that was really, that turned me up and even our people. That's why me and Jay was hot when we were seeing them boys put up them Bitcoin ATMs in the hood, hood. taxing for the fees. Ooh, they taxing. Taxing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? They out of line for that. All the way. All the hood spots. I, don't, I, I know in Houston they are. Y'all, 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 uh, um, show y'all reach out to us and tell us, you know, if they in y'all hood, but they, yeah. they all over Houston. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that was the why. I'm like, man, Bitcoin, it can really um, be a catalyst to generational wealth building, and so we see it a lot in culture. Um, we we talked about uh, football players that are either trying to take their salary or converting their salary, mm -hmm. you know, into crypto. Um, Rappers accepting mm -hmm. um, cryptocurrency, RIP to yeah, RIP to Nip. You know what I'm saying? Nip was big on crypto. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey was big on crypto. Talked a lot about it. Um, so we hear it and we see it a lot um, in culture, and it's it's something that we should embrace because traditionally we have not either been allowed to. Or we've been so far behind the pack, it's a struggle to get in the financial game. But this is an opportunity. Right. Um, my why is always my children. Yeah. And uh, I, I have to think in front of myself and prepare them for the world that they gonna live in. Mm -hmm. And if it look like this gonna be something that they need in their world, I gotta get it. Right. Um, right. That's good. Yeah. My That's why good. is simple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What um so man next episode we're gonna start jumping into the book, man. We're gonna start jumping into the book. We're gonna uh we're gonna uh attack uh is Bitcoin actually money? Yes, you know what I mean? And uh I believe it is, Jay believes it is, and by the end of the next episode, uh you'll be able to make your own informed decision. Right. Um Jay, any last thoughts, last words uh for today's episode? Nah man, we pretty much covered it. Um I do feel the same way you feel that this is a, a chance to change some things in um, marginalized communities. Like Facts. You might not get another chance like this. Once in a lifetime yeah. opportunities only usually come once in a lifetime. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why we be saying get in the game because once you get in the game and you touch it, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. me and Jay had real live conversations when Bitcoin was at 5K. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Real conversations. Mm -hmm. And we be talking like the only thing that limited our our game is we uh, the amount of capital. Mm -hmm. If we put in 10, we got the return of that. If we put in 50, we would have got the return of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like once you start putting some skin in the game, you start seeing that, oh, this is real. You know what I mean? And this could be real for me and real for you. You know, um, if you, you, you know, we in Houston. So, hey, you want to talk about appreciating assets? You uh, go if you in Houston, go ask your mama or your grandmama how much they paid for their house. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And go and go see how much it's worth right now. Yeah, yeah. Say I ain't gonna disclose, but say, bro, bro, these you, my mama and her her uh, neighbors was talking about what they paid for their house mm. back uh, 15, 20. Bro, I couldn't get a plot of land. One of my uh, say with for that price now, dog. One of my OGs, um, Sister Flood, mm. Travis Scott grandma. Yeah, okay. Told me she got her crib for 19k. <clears throat> she showed me the paper <clears throat> from back in the day. Well, she can sell it for now too. Well, they be calling her, cause you know Sunnyside is mm-hmm, trying to make mm-hmm. it her store. She say, if you if anything under four hundred, I ain't talking to you. <laughs> I said, hold on, OG. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like that. So, I, 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 yeah. what does that have to do with anything? Bitcoin is just another. Jay said, another store, store of value, value. Yeah. just like real estate. Yeah. If you took your nineteen, so she took her nineteen, mm-hmm. parked it. And my oh my, <laughs> talk about a flip, talk about a hustler, y'all talk about a real hustler. That's a flip, boy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Hey, we happy to be back, man. Season six, a beginner's guide to Bitcoin. Make sure that you following uh, Matthew Crater. Yeah, Matthew Crater, the author Matthew Crater. Yeah. And shout out to he got a uh, Trader University. Um, yeah, I trader. got some other books from him, like dividend books and all yeah, that. yeah. I mess with him. I mess with him for as the 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 books that he write. He gets straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? He gon' he gonna give you the game. Um, I've never used any of his courses and then like that, but I can vouch for. Uh, we can vouch for his books. You know what I'm saying? Because he gets straight to the point and let you know what you need to know and then get you on out of there. Um, appreciate it, man. Make sure that y'all locked in on all social media platforms, uh, Instagram, TikTok, that y'all have subscribed uh, to the podcast, rate, review. Make sure you're checking out Patreon. We still got uh, dope Patreon content dropping every week. Uh, so make sure you locked in for that, too. Uh, until next time, we are the Literacy Kings. Love. Love. Reading is fundamental. fundamental.